The Booyah Pad Crush are coming in 12 colors. There are 9 original colors and 3 new colors that were recently added. Despite the broad selection, my personal favorites are the red and black Kuro Frog and the white Albino Frog. The black and blue Night Train Frog and the yellow and black Dart Frog are also good colors. Whatever you like, there's a color for you. There are 3 variants of frogs that Booyah makes. In the center is the original Pad Crasher, an Albino. This model has a body length of 2.5 inches, as well as the model to its right, the Poppin' Pad Crasher. This one is in a leopard frog color and acts as a popper and a hollow body frog. Lastly is the Booyah Pad Crasher Jr., also in a leopard frog color. This model is only 2 inches in length and is much narrower. These frogs are all very soft, making for a greater hookup ratio, although there are frogs just as soft on the market nowadays as opposed to the initial release of the Booyah Pad Crasher. The hooks are very strong, but they're nothing special. They don't catch on very much, which is a plus, but the gap is not all that wide in comparison to other frogs on the market. The skirt is extra long on this frog, which helps the skirt get farther down underwater, imitating the legs of a frog. Another plus to the elongated skirt is that if you don't like the length, you can always trim it to your liking, as I did with the Pad Crasher Jr. Lastly, the overall build of the frog is nice. The paint jobs are all excellent although it will rub off with excessive use, as seen in the eyes. The frog is strong, but it will rip, especially when struck by a pike or pickerel, due to the softness of the plastic and the teeth of the fish. There is a weight in place to keep the frog right side up, as well as a V-hull design, but like all frogs, it will tip over. This one is one of the cheapest frogs on the market, ranging from 5 to $7 for most retailers, depending on the size. The reason why I'm reviewing this frog is because it's the best bang for your buck. There are other cheaper frogs that aren't worth a lint in your belly button. There are other much nicer frogs out there that are out of most people's price range, and these higher end frogs may not be available in stores. Go pick one up today. These bad boys are going to catch you longer. Thanks for watching, and now here's some of the catches you've been waiting for. Alright! Matt, Ashton, and Goff here. And this is a small fish. Number one. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's oh, oh, but it's carding. That's actually a nice size. It's so slimy. Did I grab my <laughs> Nice catch, Ashton. Yeah! <laughs> Fish! Hey guys, please don't kill it. I got him. Is it dead? Please don't tell me it's dead. Well, let's find out. He did just chop from like 600 feet. Or like 100 feet. Alright, put him back in the water. Okay. Nice catch. Alright, that's number wow. three so far. Ashton has two. Gus has one. And Matt has nothing. Alright, here's Ashton's oh, number that's three. That's number four total. Wait, who got one? Gus. Number four for Ashton. What a cock. And we're actually subtracting Gus's point because. Hey, Ashton's there. reeling in number five. Number five. Nice. All right, Gus is number one. I think we're gonna be. Yeah, totally. I think we're gonna be leaving soon. No, I got two. That's number five. Studios caught this huge one, so we're gonna let it go. Here it is, like at least a five, probably a five. At least a five. Sick. Gotta dive it. And she goes.
Joseph, white monster. Shout out to kicking their bass. It's good stuff.